All right, welcome to week 14. Today we're looking at chapter six. And as people come in, uh, we can start looking at this. So for today, um, in class one, let's invite this person in. We're going to look at information about the final tests. We will have some fun with vocabulary and uh, do the chapter six discussion questions. And I, I created new ones. Now that we've done a whole semester, I thought, well, let's do the discussion just a little bit different. Um, so, who can tell me, if, can you write in the chat, uh, for next week, we have, um, what do we have due for next week? What is due next week? Yep, there will be a written test. Uh-huh, and TOEFL. And can you tell how many TOEFL um, assignments are due? Ding, ding, ding. We have two TOEFL assignments, the listening and integrated writing. So for everyone coming in, just make sure that you are ready with the TOEFL listening and integrated writing. And um, know that next week is the written test. Um, and the other thing we're doing today is figuring out your final interview schedules. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time for us to see about signing up and creating your group so that you feel more prepared because this is our last class. And um, in case you, uh, I just got a direct message, but I'll just let you know that LAM 6 just closed. And that was due today, right before class. Let me just take a minute here. Okay. All right. Let's jump into information about our upcoming tests. So our final written test, if you want, you can actually go on Educondus right now and um, check out. Actually, why don't we do that? Um, and then we can come back to here. So let me share, let's see if I can do a new share here and share um, the Educondus page. Well, let's see, this might be the wrong one. <laughs> I, think, I think we're okay if I just minimize and, okay, I'm gonna need your help. Tell me if you can see not if here we go can you see our educondus page give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down oh i got yeses in chat okay fantastic thank you all right so we'll scroll down here's our classroom materials for today i have some review materials this is just a game that you can use to review chapters four five and six we got some vocabulary and some symbolism and foreshadowing and right below that we have the four parts of our final written exam so this the first part is vocabulary Oh, I have it a little bit mixed up. Part three, I guess, is the excerpt analysis. 
Part two, you will be doing a reading and identifying four errors. And part four is an integrated writing. So I brought this audio browser down in case you have any audio issues. And then you will do a reading and a listening. And then you will need to write your answer. So I would like you to look at those sections and let me know how long is the final written test. If you look at all the times, there's four times, how long is the final written test? You'll need to go on to Educondus. We're doing a little investigating. How long altogether is the final written test? All right, 85 minutes. That's a good guess. And actually, I didn't calculate it out that way. Yeah, approximately an hour and 20 minutes. So that means it will be open for the two blocks, the two time blocks. Let me pop this up again. So we, your vocabulary is, uh, you'll be using, you have you choosing the best vocabulary and then writing a sentence using vocabulary. Excerpt analysis, identify the character who spoke the excerpt and provide a complete answer to the question about that part of the book. Error correction. In the reading test, you will be given a set of notes that are supposed to help understand the text, but they have errors. Identify them and correct them. And then the final written part is take notes as you listen to a reading and then write a four or five paragraph essay. And so that is why it's going to take so long. Um, I will connect to Zoom and I can help you with any questions, but that is our final written test. What questions do you have as we prepare for our test next week? And does anyone have any questions or does it feel very clear? Silence, crickets. Okay, well, um, let's see. Uh, I didn't actually look this up and I don't remember, but does anyone remember how much this is worth of your grade, the final written test? Or should we look it up? I think it is 30%. Yeah, um, the TOEFLs are not similar to this test. So those TOEFLs are, are going to help you prepare for taking the TOEFL test. All right, let me go ahead and open up just to confirm that our... Um, that this test is worth the final written test is 25%. Um, if you missed 
the explanation about the final written test, you can go and look on Educondus. I will upload this recording and then you can also stay on after class and I would be happy to answer any questions. We're gonna move on now to the oral evaluation. So this is a final oral interview and you are going to do it in groups of four. The final interview will be um, in specific times and you have um, 20 minutes in total. Five minutes uh, where you can write notes, think about the question. So this is individual time. Then, uh, so let me just underline right here. Notice that this one is individual. Woo! Five minutes to set the discussion. So this will be with your group. So now you can talk in English to prepare. And then the last 10 minutes is you have your discussion. So let's go back to Educondus. Uh, jump up there. We're gonna keep scrolling down until we get to the final oral exam. You can uh, download practice questions and final discussion interview times, sign up is right here. Um, I have already opened that. Oh, let me clear off this thing. Um, and so I will share this link with you. If you already know, so I'm going to leave about five minutes here for you to, well, let's just give it a couple minutes uh, to, send messages back and forth, talk with your friends, and decide what time and who is going to be in what group. If you only have three people in a group, another person might sign up in your group, and that is totally okay. Um, these are groups of four. So if you are one person, it is okay for you to join a group of three. All right, this link is opening up. Um, I am giving 25 minutes for each group. That's so that we have the time where you work individually and um, there's a so we have a little bit of time to get on. So let's just take a few minutes um, and let people sign up for times. If you already know what groups you're in, this way you can get a general idea about the final oral interview and feel more prepared about the time that you are presenting. Notice it is two weeks, but you only need to do one time and then you're finished. I will add on here that it's okay. It is okay to sign up in a group of three. I do have a question for you. Should we put your email addresses on this document? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I do have one thumbs up. My thought is this way you can communicate with each other. Um, especially if you don't know another person in your group. So once again, I had one response, class as a whole, should we include your email addresses on this document? All right, 
If so, I'm going to add another spot for you to put your email addresses. Okay, I added here, if you are alone and you see a group of three, you can add yourself to the group. So let's go ahead and add another line here, another column. And we'll put email addresses right here. So if you could put your email address um, so that people could contact you. And I'll put these in red just in case or in yellow, let's put it in green. Yellow, we'll call that good. All right, so people are signing up to do the quiz time, fantastic. final oral exam. And one of the reasons I wanted to pull up our class policies was to check the this value as well. So our oral interview is also 25% of our final grade. In total, the written test plus the oral interview are 50% of our grade. All right, so excellent. Paula gets one extra point and a star because she already put her email on there. Good job. <gasps> Antonia is next. Perfect. Love it. So notice if you have not signed up for a time, then the second week, July 7th, is also available. If um, you have a group that can go earlier on Friday the, oh no, 30th, no, on Friday, July 7th, um, you can write to me and we can coordinate that. All right. So I'm going to move away from this page. You can still continue to work with your uh, classmates to figure out um, what time you are going to be. Let me just reformat this a little bit because I just like everything to look nice. Uh, we'll just insert a couple lines here, move this up on top, insert row. Move this over so you can put your emails in. Okay. And hopefully this way you can see your emails better. Okay, fantastic. Go ahead and keep on that, and I'm going to pull up our PowerPoint again. Okay, before I move on, does anyone have a question about the final oral interview? All right, if not, we are going to jump into chapter six vocabulary. 
So I changed this format and I'd like to get your opinion about this. You will need your annotate, choose a stamp. You can choose whether you want a star or a heart, choose the color that you want. For example, I'm going to be using a yellow star. You can choose whatever color you want and whatever stamp. Oops. We will be looking at our vocabulary from chapter six, glide. If you're ready, you can go ahead and say it with me, glide. Beak. Pluck. Surface. This is not the vocabulary from it. We're gonna skip this. I used the wrong vocabulary on here. <laughs> Not to worry, belligerently, frantically is on there. Give a hoot. Shiver, burst into. So some of these are on. That's good. Okay. So I am going to read. Let me open it up here. I'm going to read a definition, and I want you to use your annotate tool to stamp the correct vocabulary word. Word number one, to move smoothly and quietly as if without effort. To move smoothly and quietly as if without effort. Which word, which word means to move smoothly and quietly as if without effort? Go ahead and use your annotate button and choose one of the stamps to stamp the correct word. Ooh, Vicente got one. Diego's on it. The stamp button. All right, ooh, creative Antonia. Yep, just using a little smudge there, I love it. Um, I'm not sure what to tell you. The stamp is right beside draw. And if it's not there, yeah, you can go ahead and just use your draw button. Love it, Sebastian. There we go, perfect. So our word is glide. Go ahead and clear this. Lovely. All right, next word, word number two. This you find on a bird. It is a hard uh, pointed mouth of a bird. Ooh, so fast, good job. Oh, I see people are <laughs> putting it on and erasing it. Interesting, very nice. Nicole, I love that you figured out what to do. We got smiley faces, we got hearts, well done. Okay. Uh, next one, to pull something quickly in order to remove it. You might do this with feathers. Um, you might do it with tweezers. You know, like sometimes you want to do this with uh, hairs on your body. You might pluck them off, very good. Yeah, loving all the stamps. It's really making these words fun. Clear. All right. Our next one is um, the outside part or layer of something. The outside part or layer of something. Yeah, the surface. The surface of any object. You know, and I really appreciate everyone getting involved in this. I wanted to do this a little different because um, when we're writing it, it's harder, but I thought this might be easier to do online. Okay, to try very hard to do something where you use all of your strength and all of your ability.
Wow. Yes, strain, strain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and next one. This one you might see uh, someone in the kitchen use. It's a piece of clothing to cover up the part of your body, your clothing, so you don't get flour on it. Yep, you don't get is as dirty <laughs> as maybe you would if you didn't wear an apron. Good job. Well done. All right, we're going to jump to, <gasps> okay, what do I have on my face? It is the opposite of a smile. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, yes. Great. Yeah. You know what? It could be both. Yep. Um, okay. So this is, um, I'll give a little bit more detail. This is, you can use it with many different emotions. Uh, it's only deals with the mouth. It is um, the opposite of a smile. Uh, you turn your mouth upside down. Yeah, it's a frown. But you're absolutely right. When you feel extreme sadness, I'm also going to have this on my face. All right. Last one is a sound that we make when we have a lot of pain or um, are very unhappy. It's actually really funny to see so many hearts on moan. I get it, <laughs> but yes. All right. All right, so we are done with the first part, but now I'm going to change it up a little bit because I want you to, I'm going to actually say a sentence and I want you to stamp the word or phrase that best completes the sentence. So number one, the doctors, the doctors say your progress is slow, but hmm. the doctors say your progress is slow, but hmm. Ding, ding, ding. The doctors say your progress is slow but steady. Nice and uh, continual, a slow progression. All right, let's clear this up. It's winter, it's cold in the house, and I began to. <laughs> Raise your hand if today you have shivered. Oh, I, I see a couple of hands up. Yep, we got a couple of shivers happening. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, next one. Sorry, I'll clear that off. He said something mean. She frowned and began to give a quick and angry. Mm. He said something mean. She frowned and began to give a quick and angry. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Matilda, what's the other one that might be able to fit into that sentence? Okay. 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 <laughs> um, maybe the way that we, maybe the way that it would like a different way of writing the sentence. All right. Clearing all my drawings. Um, the dogs heard a loud noise and ran away. Mm. The dogs heard a loud noise and ran away. Mm. Mm. 
Ooh, we're thinking a little bit. Ah, I like the sun. Okay. I I get the sense that we're not as sure about this one, but you are correct. They ran away frantically so fast with a lot of energy. Okay. Um, my brother was ready to fight and yelled. Mm. Belligerently, my brother was ready to fight and yelled belligerently. Well done. Okay, we only have a few more. Clear all drawings. All right. Okay, I will worry about my test later. Right now, I don't. Mm. <laughs> I'll worry about my test later. Right now, I don't. Mm. <laughs> That's right, I don't give a hoot. I have a lot of other things to worry about. I could care less, I don't give a hoot. Well done. Um, Next one. They didn't even knock on the door, they just Mm, the room. They didn't even knock on the door. They just... <laughs> Cute little drawings. They just burst into the room. Exactly. All right. And last one. In order to survive, they have to, in order to survive, they have to beg. Yes. And I hope at the end of the semester, I don't have anyone begging me to change their grade. That would not be nice like the butterfly. All right, well done. Um, I, <laughs> I wish I could figure out how to do a poll very fast. I would love to know what's your favorite way of doing the vocabulary reviews. Um, if you liked this one or if you preferred writing it on the on the screen. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Yay. It was worth a little bit of work then. Excellent. Thank you. All right, let's go. Then we're going to jump into our chapter six discussion questions. So, um, now, what would be really nice of me is to actually put you in the groups that you're going to work with uh, for the final discussion. That's going to take a little bit of extra work. So if you give me just, oh, I don't know, a minute here. So go ahead, take a little break. Um, I will put you into the groups that you're in for your final oral interview. Because uh, it'll just take a little bit of reorganizing. We have seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let me see. So in room one, just take a minute here. Okay, room two. Uh, 
And um, if someone's not in class right now, then uh, I won't be able to assign them to a room. We'll just figure it out. Okay. Okay. Mm, yes, perfect. And this is really funny. Okay. <laughs> so I have your rooms. I'm going to give you nine minutes to work here. But before we do that, go ahead and jump on to, you can either get here in our chapter six um, discussion questions, or let me just share this link with you. All right, here you go. And I just need to go ahead and put the groups on here. Again, this is, I'm glad you're getting in there. It just does take me a little second to, it's just not immediate. Okay, so I did this in the order that you signed up. Um, I did um, recreate, or I did write this time, which group, so like here, slide number two says group one on it. And then if you go on here, group one, your name should be on there, Benjamin, Diego, Sebastian, and Vicente. Um, so you should be able to find, uh, you know, slide three says group two. And so that would be Antonia, Gabriel, Matilda, and Nicole. Um, all right. So go ahead and find your spots on the slides. Um, before I put you in your groups, does anyone have a question? or give me a thumbs up if you feel confident. One thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Let me see. It, so the very last one, Anais and Diana, do you know what room you're in? Or sorry, which group you are. Okay, excellent. All right, then I am going to uh, start the breakout rooms. So you have nine minutes to um, figure out your, uh, discuss the question write the answer and decide who is going to present. Um, oh, and remember to look for examples in the book. All right, here we go. Right? Excellent. Gabriel, well done. You will be going into room two. Does that sound right to you?
You need to be sent into the room again. Uh, internet uh, fail just when you interpret in groups. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, on mine, it says, here, just give me a second. Do not accept it right away because I'm going to put you in a different room and then I'm going to move you back. So don't accept it. I'll tell you when. Okay. Did you get an invitation to join now? Okay, I am going to pause the recording. Oopsies. Well, how can I pause this recording? Oh, Pona, okay. There we go. Breakout rooms will be closing. Not sure what I did, but for some reason. Hey, Valentina. I think I did not set a timer this time, so I had to bring y'all back. Are you ready? Hey, we are ready. Oh, okay, perfect. Hopefully everyone will be able to come back in. I just um, had too many things to coordinate, so I didn't close at all. Everyone should be coming back now, though. I'll go ahead and share my screen. As everyone comes back in, thanks so much uh, for, you know, like taking the time to do this and looking into your different parts. Um, Let's see, I just want to pop this up. All right, so let's jump into our first question. Uh, group group one, we had uh, Benjamin, Diego, Sebastian, and Vicente. Um, who is going to share from your group what scenes of death did Steinbeck describe at the beginning of chapter six that parallel the events of chapter five and foreshadow what is coming. I, I can do it, yeah. Yeah, thanks for volunteering. I appreciate you. Well, we got two foreshadows. We okay. Like uh, when Lenny kills a puppy because he cannot control himself, this also happened when he kills Carly's wife. And at the end of the book, when Lenny gets scared, he hides in the tall grass after killing Carly's wife and gets scared again and goes to hide there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys went very deep on that, like really looking at uh, being scared. You know, this was an interesting question because I was looking... Um, like for a specific scene, like kind of what how it's described too. So um, at the very beginning of the book, he also like makes it more sinister by talking about a water snake on water. And then there's a bird that captures it and eats it. Um, but I actually, I really like your guys' opinion. It's not wrong. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Let's jump into group Antonia, Gabriel, Matilda, and Nicole. Who will be presenting in your group? Me. Thank you, Matilda. Um, okay, so 
the first visitor. Who is the first visitor and what does the visitor say? Aunt Clara. Lenny's first vision was his Aunt Clara. He tells him that he always messes up and up things and that George spends time taking care of him instead of enjoying his own life. And she treats him like very badly and reprimands him for being so foolish. Well done. Yeah. That one was a little bit more clear. Group one, I gave you a tough one. You guys really investigated and you did a great job. Good job, group two as well. And group three, who will be our project, uh, our presenter? Sherilyn, Constanza, one of the Constanzas or Valentina? It's gonna be me. Okay, thank you. All right, so who is the second visitor? And um, what does this visitor say? And then how is this related to crooks? Well, Lenny hallucinates, and the second visitor was a different rabbit who comes out of his head. The rabbit taunts Lenny, telling him that George will leave him and that he will be alone. And this is related with Crocs because he was the one who told that word to Lenny before. Very good. It's like he took that idea and recreated it, but with, you know, put it with different imagery. Excellent. Thank you, group three. All right, group four, uh, Kami, we can choose between the two Franciscas or Paula, who will be presenting? Hi, Miss. Hi, Kami. All right, let's jump into question four. Okay, so here we're going to compare chapter six and chapter one. How is their conversation similar? Well, in the first chapter, they talk about how their own place and how it will be the life. Then on final chapter, they again have a conversation about how will be the life's ideal. Meanwhile, they're Esther at the Salinas River. Yeah. Yeah. And is there anything else to, like, do you remember, because maybe you don't remember, um, so uh, in chapter one, George tells Lenny um, it would be easier if Lenny wasn't there. Do you remember what Lenny responds? Yeah, he says that he's going to run away from him. And then they talk about that in, in chapter six. Mm -hmm. And George says, no, like, don't go. And talk about the thing that they will be do in the future about their own place, their own when when are going to have their rabbit and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. So sad. It is very sad. <laughs> it I, is so cool. have, has anyone can you raise your hand if you've seen the movie to this? Because I cry every time because it's very sad. Mm. Ooh, no one's seen the movie. It is kind of older. I get that. Uh, all right. Anais and Diana, uh, who will be presenting from your group? Me. Excellent. All right, Anais. Um, oh, did I skip it? No. Okay. Sorry about that. I got a little confused with all my clicking. Where did George get the gun? And what evidence is there that George is having a difficult time shooting Lenny? Uh, we believe that uh, George went to the bunk house after he found finds out that Lenny kills um, Curly's wife, and he went and took the Carlson's gun. And um, and we believe that during was having a difficult time because he was visible, emotional, distressed, and he was trembling. And mm. that indicates his difficulty to shooting Lenny. Yes, exactly. And then the very first time that he tried to shoot him, was he able to? No, he couldn't do it at the time. 
I think that would be a very challenging situation to be in. Good job, group five. So we are reaching the end of our class. I just wanted to take this time uh, to say thank you for participating in our virtual classes. It's been um, a new experience. So um, hopefully you've learned some things, um, maybe not a huge amount, but hopefully you feel like there was some interesting things about these books um, and the activities we did in class. I'm going to project up here for what we're doing for class two. You can, should be able to find it on, oops, not this one, on our EduCondus page, uh, class two TOEFL integrated writing practice. So this also is due before class next week. Um, and this is to give you a little overview about the TOEFL exam. So you can download this PowerPoint and it will give you more information about integrated writing, tips, suggestions, and then there's no timer here. You can set your own timer, take three minutes to read this, then do the sample listening um, and uh, take, Time to summarize the points made in the lecture. Make sure to explain how they challenge the specific points made in the reading passage. Uh, there is a word limit of 225 words. So do your best. Um, this should not take more than 30 minutes to do. Let's see, I'm going to stop sharing. And then, um, oh, well, it's hard to stop sharing. There it is. And then if you have any questions, you can stay and ask questions. Otherwise, oh, it is hard to find the movie. We used to share it, we used to show the movie in, um, in class. Uh, but since we only meet once, one time, it's really hard to show you all this movie. But that said, if you don't have any questions, you are free to go. If you do have questions, you can stay on and I'm happy to answer your questions. But thank you for coming to class today. I'll go ahead and stop recording.